working on building a fire. Almost got the fire going again. Uh, I ran out of newspaper, so I'm using this quail uh, to heat up the logs until they catch. They almost caught now. And then I'm using this gas heater to try to heat up the basement too. And I'm also using this electric heater that says it finally got up to a uh, four degrees in here. And hopefully at this rate the pipes might thaw out. We are here at the Rock Club Foundation headquarters right now. And we are, uh, the tree companies are doing me a favor kind of by removing all my trees in my neighborhood because they interfere with the power line so the, the city decided that they're going to cut down all the trees in my neighborhood all the trees in my neighborhood coming down but that's kind of a good thing because i need the trees right now for like putting wood in my house to stay warm this winter and they're just like we need like help collect them all so this stranger right here i get, just give him two dollars he poured for maybe 10 minutes, maybe 20 at the most. And, and, uh, you don't want to be on camera, but, uh, hey, but I don't want to be on camera, bro. Uh, I guess he's leaving because he don't want to be on camera. But, uh, alright. Then the 9 series is starting to thaw out a little bit just so it can rain. Again, I got two guys from Hamtramck came over here. Look, they look uh, all bloody ready to help, man. <laughs> yeah, they're bloody ready to help, man. That's what they say over them or uh, whatever. Oh yeah, Rock Club Foundation. Right, Rock Club Foundation here over with Deer the Goat. We got we got the new merch here, man. Check it out. We got the goat right here, Eric and Deer. We got these. Uh, we get some local. I'm looking for a, a certain amount of people. They want to show, show, sign up for local t-shirt printing. If we can get, uh, if we get 10 people to sign up saying that they want a t-shirt, we can give, um, them, uh, some money off the price. Probably you knock it down from 25 to 20. Hell yeah. And you don't have to pay the shipping and handling. Just go to the link in the bio. Yeah. Support Rock Club Foundation. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna invite these guys in for dinner and eat. What do you say? Yes, dreams do come true. Uh, everybody keep telling me to get a job, and what do you guys say? There's so many projects here. There's just so many projects to get done here at the farm. And, like you can never get, never finish. Gotta get people out here. You gotta, you gotta get more people out here to help me get keep this projects going. So, if you guys want to come out here and do a collab, or do just hang out, or whatever, or I even went you give you a room to, room in my house if you want to help me out. So oh, I'm thinking, what hell happened to your washing machine? It fell apart, and you know what? This washing machine inside from outside. We had to take this thing apart to get it down here. This is how big this washing machine is. We had to literally take the thing apart and then once we get took the thing apart look, i think it might actually work <laughs> if i can just figure out how to work a washing machine this is, might be the greatest day of my life <laughs> a dryer too but you see look it's a dryer and uh the bottom of the dryer is where do we stick this thing this doesn't fit in a regular plug Oh, this is probably one of the 220 plugs. We're going to have to run a new, whole new power line. That, and we're probably going to have to run a line for the dryer vent. All that stuff. So we need a dryer vent. We need a 220 line. It's always one thing is not the other. And it had to get, give back the pop. I tried to use my card and I don't have no money on my card. So I couldn't even buy a $1 thing of soda right now. So. What happens if you leave your sink running too long? Well, this oh, this is what. Damn it. <laughs> so, one of the things I've been thinking about that need definitely needed to get done is window. Windows. Right now, this is my window. 
It's not what over the window. This is actual the window of my house. It's made out of these plastic. And look, the plastic in some places are like tearing. You can literally almost see outside. And just look how bad this window is. There's literally a big old air just tore down right here. And there's my bus outside with all, all the snow. And then I try and lay, lay a blanket over it. Just to try to stay warm in my house. And like there's like, there are like 20 windows in my house. And they all need to be fixed. Most of them anyways need to be fixed. Repair. I got a friend that said that you might be able to buy used windows for about 50 bucks. And and then maybe put them in. If it's going to cost about 100 bucks a piece. If buy used windows and put them in to get them replaced. Um, and that's like at the very low end it might even cost more than that so so you're talking about 20 windows so that's easy two two thousand dollars i just need to spend on just windows and that's that's doing everything as cheap as humanly possible man so um and probably going to cost more than that that's just a rough low end estimate of doing everything pretty much ourselves Thing is that the goats been eating food like crazy. This this bale of hay that I got from the vet a week ago is already gone, and that's and then also the bell the bells of hay that I had in the backyard is almost gone. They're literally eating like three three to four times the normal amount because it's so cold outside, and uh, and they have nothing else to eat. Because everything is covered in snow. And so. Over here at the Rock Club Foundation. Look we found another cat that I got outside from the chicken coop. I brought in here to rescue it alive. Because we know that's what we do here. We rescue animals and we take care of the community. Whether they be you know a person or a pet or whatever. We just take care of people. Foundation we're here with the. The kitty cat right now I got and we are that we just rescued from being outside in the cold and we are out here trying to fix the windows and fix the house up and fix all the things that need to be fixed to this house with survivor I've been trying to raise money to get some of these repair done on all summer I've been making repairs all summer and I been making progress but uh there's still a lot more that got to get done and uh I won't be surprised if I freeze to death tonight. <laughs> or tomorrow. <laughs> it netted at 9 degrees Celsius out there. Next week it's going to be netted at 9 Fahrenheit. That's like netted 19 or more. I don't even know. That's, it's just scary how cold it is in Detroit. It's going to have, have inches of snow tomorrow. More snow. Every, there just was more snow that came yesterday. And, um... And yeah, and just it's been struggling, just kind of trying to keep the the goat feds because every time I go out there, they out of food again, and I'm like, that's enough food to last three days, and you all ate it. It haven't even been eight hours. It have been, it have been even been. So it's like, and then I got to be here, make sure, keep an eye on everything, fixing up everything, just and just trying to stay warm. It's a um, it's a battle. But I'm I'm helping out people, especially this little kitty right here. Ain't that right, little kitty? So please like, subscribe, and share the video.